Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to set up a competition in real life using Glim.io. Glim.io is a competition platform that is not very popular, but probably has the best features according to me. I've been trying a bunch of them like Contest Domination and King Sumo etc. And I keep going back to Glim.io because uh, it has a bunch of cool little things that improve your conversion rate, that get people to take more actions for your contest and all these things. Now. Glim has a free version and if you wanted to just run a pure social media contest you can actually use that free version, it's going to work perfectly. However, if you want to collect emails, if you want to get leads and eventually make sales behind, I highly suggest you use the pro version. Now you don't have to keep that pro version subscription up all the time, actually at the time at which I'm recording that video, the pro version is deactivated, so I'm going to do a demonstration with the free version. And the reason why is because, as I said in the theory video, Running competitions all the time is not necessarily a very good idea because it, you get this audience fatigue and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my account and we're going to look right inside what's going on inside Glim. So let's just log in and see what happens. So that's my Glim dashboard and you can see they have a bunch of templates for competition. But in that case we're going to create a new one and I'm going to pretend that I'm creating a competition giving away one copy of this course. So let's just call it the Double Your Leads Competition. And you can see I recorded that video before because it's auto-completing. Um, so I can start a start date and I can start an end, a choose an end date, sorry. And I'm going to select a start date that's in the past and the reason for that is so that I can show you the active widget and what it looks like. Um, so I picked the 1st of February until the 1st of March, so that's a one month competition. It's a little bit long, it depends on how much promotion you have stacked up. Uh, you can put your terms of condition, you can uh, send a confirmation email or not, so when people enter the competition they get an email saying, hey, you just entered the competition, this is the actions you took, etc, etc. Uh, I'm not a very big fan of sending that people, they're not very interested in that usually. Uh, you can use that fraud filter, that fraud filter is very good. So for example, if someone's trying to win your competition at all costs, what they're going to do is they're going to try to enter several emails and several Facebook accounts and all these things and as a result you're gonna get a bunch of duplicate entries that are not valuable to your business and you're actually going to give more chances to these people to win your contest. Not a good idea. The fraud filter uh, does things such as finding what the IP of the people are etc so that if he thinks that there are duplicates of people trying to fraud the system he's going to discard the entries automatically and I've had a bunch of these in the last competition I ran for Authority Hacker. So you can basically set up all these things including uh, what you want people to log in with. I like to just pick email, Facebook and Twitter because these are the most popular. And you can ask people if they want to like your Facebook page. Now Facebook forbids what they call like gating and like gating is asking people to like your page in exchange for getting something such as an entry in a competition. So if you were to make it a, an entry formula for your giveaway, you would actually be against Facebook terms of service. They could have the right to terminate your fan page and all these things that could be a little bit problematic for your business. So what Glim did is it actually prompts people to like your page, but they don't have to. It's just an optional step. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the Facebook URL of Authority Hacker and let me just grab it in the notes and just paste it. And that's basically oh, going to say, hey, do you want to like our page as well? And some people will click like. I got a couple hundred likes last time I ran a uh, competition, despite the fact that it's not mandatory. Maybe some people believe it's mandatory, I guess. Um, you can choose a minimum age, so if you were giving away something such as alcohol or you know sex-related stuff or whatever industry you're in, you probably want to use that, and that's pretty cool, because that allows you to give stuff away that you cannot sell to uh, people under 18, for example. You can also uh, choose location and language. That's a, an upgrade option, but you can do that. So you can, if you don't, if you want your contest to only run in a certain country because you're only, you know, working in France or in Norway or whatever country you are, you can actually limit uh, the entry for people that are in Norway. So if people are not in Norway, they can't just join in and spoil your competition. So that's a pretty cool thing. The second thing you need to do is go in the how to enter section 
and decide how people can get entries, an entry being a chance to win. And there are different strategies here, and I'm going to show you what I like to use because I think it's pretty effective. Um, so let's just pick a bunch of them, such as like Facebook, you can ask people to visit your page on Facebook, you can't ask them to like it because that's against Facebook Terms of Service, and that would be worth one entry. Then maybe follow us on Twitter, that's not against uh, Twitter's Terms of Service. So I'm going to put my Twitter handle here, and it's probably worth one entry as well. Uh, I'm going to get people to follow me on SoundCloud, so if you have a podcast that's probably a good idea to get people to follow you on SoundCloud. And the beauty of all of this is that people are going to perform several actions to get more entries. You can see each action is worth one entry, so one more chance to win the contest. And because of that, you'll be on their Twitter feed, you'll be on their SoundCloud feed, you'll be uh, on their YouTube feed in that case. Uh, I really want people to subscribe to my channel. So I am going to do that. I'm going to grab my channel URL and paste it and make it worth one entry, right? Now, if I want people to f do all four things, uh, and, and there's a bunch more ways to enter, but I'm not going to go over all of them. You can just check it out when you register a free account. But if I want people to perform all of them, what I need to do is I need to create an incentive for people to create all of them. And that's what that bonus section is. And that bonus section is essentially saying if you complete X number of entries, you get an extra bonus of entries. So in that case, I'll put four. So if you do all four entries above, you can get four more entries. So you can double your chances of winning if you do that. And that got me five entries per person on average to my last contest. So I highly suggest you use that option. It's really quite good. Uh, don't make it daily entry. And then that's it. Uh, basically, based on what you want people to do. So if you want them to upload a picture, to subscribe to your newsletter, uh, subscribing to your newsletter is a pro option, so you can't do it with a free account, but uh, you can do that. And you can basically select all the entries and give a, basically double the points of the people that do all these things. And that will really get people to follow you everywhere. Now, the last thing we need to do is we need to select the price. We need to tell people, hey, this is what you're going to win, uh, or you have a chance to win if you enter that competition. So in that case, I'll call it one double your leads license lifetime. I'm going to give one away and here I will put my description. So I'll put my description here and once you have the pro account you can also upload a video and image which is a pretty cool way to draw attention to your contest but in that case I'm on a free account as I said because I'm not running a competition right now so I'm just going to save it and put it on a WordPress site and show you what it looks like. So once you save your competition, all these settings are going to be uh, computed and into a nice little widget you can embed on your website or put on your Facebook page and all sorts of places to where you can drive traffic and get people to complete all these actions you want them to complete. So that's what happens when you save it. They give you a little piece of code which is a piece of JavaScript and if you have a WordPress site or any website, you can just take that piece of JavaScript, put it in the HTML editor, you can see I selected text here not visual, otherwise it wouldn't work. And then I can just preview it and let's just see what my widget looks like right now. So this is what the widget looks like once you embed it on your website. And you can see you get the total number of entries from that person. And I didn't do any entry yet, so I have nothing. Uh, total entries for the whole contest and how many days are left on that contest and when people arrive on that widget they have to either enter via email via Facebook or via Twitter like it shows and I'm gonna put email to uh, show you and you can see you collect the emails already and uh, you can actually ask people if they want to be notified when there's another competition running so over time you could build an audience for competitions and you can see my like button is here so the, the I told you that you cannot force people to like your Facebook page, but you can make it optional. You can see that people can like you for Facebook updates, but it's an optional thing. They can still continue without liking. And that's quite cool because you get a bunch of fans without breaking the terms of service of Facebook. And once I logged in, I get the options that are offered to me to get more entries. So there's five ways to enter, I have zero entries now, but if I visit the page on Facebook, then I click on this and it says, oh, view authority hackers page on Facebook. Cool. And then when you click, you go through 
and you know you can like the page but you don't have to so we're not breaking the terms of service of Facebook at the same time if I go back to my contest and I click continue uh, you will see that I'm getting one entry and you see I have one entry because I clicked on that link then you can do the same for following on Twitter and you know you click and you get the proper Twitter button same for SoundCloud uh, and that will just open a new thing you can follow on YouTube as well and you can see like you can just subscribe directly on the widget and when people have done all of these they can actually get a bonus entry which doubles their chances of winning so that's why it looks like from the user's perspective now if we go back to the widget then you will see that if we go in reporting we should start seeing an entry so that's my entry there's one person that visited the Facebook page which is me and then you can go and pick the winners whenever you're ready so whenever you're done you can click on draw the winners and it's like ah oh, are you sure the contest isn't finished uh, if you wanted to end up early or something but you don't have to and then the winner is picked obviously it's me because I'm the only one that did it and then uh, you can announce the winner in the widget so that everyone that goes on that contest page will see who the winner is and they don't have to worry or ask or anything so in that case we have our winner and it's gonna show it on the widget so that's how you run uh, competition on Glim.io it's very quick, it's very easy if you have any questions there's the comment section below see you later